you know how much for that one it's, it's like about the light that comes in with it Good night, everybody. If you're on or not on, I'm still saying good night. Friends will move on. Absolutely nothing keep a good woman down. Get ready for the show. Get ready, get ready, get ready with, you know, it's just the Avril show. Tonight we're going into something different and um, expecting my guests to show up shortly. So to each and every one of you, if you have joined me already, thank you so much. We're coming to you shortly. This June is the White Apple Consulting Show. Green Association with Culture Jam Radio presents Flower Gun and Friends. Madam, old time dancing, come back it's here. It's Flower Madam, Gun and Friends. Me love, me love, me love, me love, me love, me love, On Saturday, time. June 4th at Empire Manor, formerly Monica's Townhouse, 131-25 Springfield Boulevard in Queens. It also features Michael Lickshot Palmer. Keisha Martin, Junie Wright, Steve Knight, Alfred. The Saturday, June 4th, it's Flower Gun and Friends. Get your tickets today. It you got to get your tickets today, but you also got to get ready for the show that's coming up. Good evening to you, Problem. Thank you for tuning in. We're coming to you shortly, all the way out of Jamaica. So there's nothing better than being in your New York City, wherever you are. But we're bringing to you someone special miss am i miss right I'm... okay so he's getting ready he's trying to get in touch with misha can this thing be any louder okay so we're live and thank you to each and everyone who is already in tune and watching live and Thank you, Problem, for saying good night. Good night, wherever you are. And remember, if you don't speak, we don't know that you're watching, but we know that you're on. So if you want us to know who you are, you just got to say good night. Good evening to the Honorable. Good evening, Janet Richardson in, where are you, Ohio? Leroy Sibbles is in the house. He's in the house. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He said he's in the house. Yes. So wherever you are, he's in your house too. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to come to you tonight. We're bringing you some great information, great entertainment that I know you don't want to miss. So if you don't want to miss it, you're in tune with the right show. So... Mm -hmm. Good evening to you, Leroy. How are you doing tonight? Or I, I'm, I'm quite well, thank you. And how are you? I, I, I am good. I am good. I, you see, I'm calling you Leroy. And some yeah, people might say Sybils, you know, especially those from Kingston. Yeah, you can call me Leroy. It's okay. It means the king. That's, that, that's what we talk <laughs> It is the Avril Show. Thank you I, so much. I, I, um, I only like about 10 minutes so we have to make it real yeah that, that's right that's right he's not going to be here all night with you and if you miss it no. you just got to know you're going to get it after the fact billy lightning good evening to you um so you have billy lightning watching i, I hey billy how you doing <laughs> <laughs> all right billy thank you so much so why i know you just jump in to spend a few minutes with me and i know janet 
Janet Richardson, if you don't know who is Leroy Sibbles, he's not from the Virgin Islands, born in Kingston, <laughs> a Kingstonian, okay? Yes. And yeah. uh, I'm telling you, man, Leroy, you know, just to get a little of you for those who are watching on the early side of the Avril show, you've been on your career as a lead singer in the, the Rock Steady Good in the Heptones. And yes, Paula, you want to say, oh, you know him. Paula, you too young for, for Leroy Simples. Come on now. So she's Leroy. Young, she's, she's young, but she's well informed. That's it, nice. It, it, that's that's the good thing. You see, it's not about the age. No matter wow. if they're 30, the music alone will draw them to you. And guess what? They're going to want to find out who is this person, Leroy Sibbles. We're going to talk about that later, but I'm going to allow him to tell you more about himself and the big show that's coming up here at the yes. Capitol Theater in New right. York. Let's talk about that. Right. Okay. So we're talking this Sunday coming, Sunday the 29th. Yes. yes. And we're going to be in West Westchester, is it at West yeah, uh, Chester Avenue West, in Fort Chester, New York? Fort Chester, exactly. You know, I'm and I'm gonna be there with with the, the the lady of soul, the queen of reggae, Marcia Griffiths. Yes. All right. You know? And um, Johnny Osborne. And Johnny Osborne. You know, and and he's a, the the king of dancehall. So we, we we're coming together to give a, a great performance. You know, of the original reggae music. You hear that, Pauline Henry? Pauline, say I'm listening. Yes, yes Pauline. Pauline. Welcome. That's right. I wonder if she want to say she's from Kingston too. Cause I know you are. Every Harley Kingstonians gonna say they're from Kingston. Now you know. So continue talking. Continue talking, Leroy. Oh yes, yes. You know. So originally, um, I was a singer, you know, arranger, songwriter for the Eptones, and I went. Um, we 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 were uh, established in Studio One, you know, which is. It is it's the Motown of, of of reggae music, you know. Yeah, and here so, why young now asking if I'm sure that's really why because you you too you too relax. She can't see your face. I mean, I mean, what do you what, what, what you mean you can't see? Yes, you you seeing oh, him now. Oh 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. Yeah. But why you something as you want to see too much? Something happened here now. I don't know. And, and you're good. You're good. You're good right there. Just keep talking. Okay, great. Yeah, okay, so um, you know um, after um, establishing the the the, the Eptones, you know, develop the, the the music by um playing bass guitar for a lot of artists, you know, and um, eventually I I realized that my bass lines because back then we 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 uh, music by the bass lines, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and um. I, I realized that my bass lines were the, the bass lines that for many years, even up to today, when people are, are re-recording uh, music, they usually, usually choose my bass line. Even Jasmine Sullivan, hmm. she she got she broke on, on a Leroy Sibbles bass line. <laughs> wow. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, I believe that. I mean, you're, you're that good. You're an icon. Yes, man. I, I've been there for for all these years, and 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 um, almost every Jamaican singer from back then, you know, that sings reggae, as at least one, at least one, uh, this line under their belt, you know. So there's there was something about my, you know, what I'm saying. We we I I have um written bass lines like um for Satamasa Ghana. And that's one of the one of the biggest songs um, in, 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 in reggae history. Another one was Past the Kochi. Uh -huh. You know, the, the musical youth redid it and called it Past the Dutchy. Oh, yeah, we remember that. And I think every even the young Almost ones. Almost everyone, will, yeah, will remember who's, who's that. familiar with reggae music remembers that one, you know. But you but know the one, one that, that I that was, like. That was you know a big that was a billboard hit. Okay. You know, so um, you know, um, I, I I've been established establishing baselines, you know, um for Dennis Brown. The very first album that Dennis Brown recorded was um I was on um, the bass player. And that that's the, the bass that's the, the the album was called um No Man is an Island. 
and and that's what No Man's Island was one of was his first major hit for Dennis Brown. I have recorded Alton Ellis, John Holt, you know, and um, many artists. These are these are famous for who don't know these these names are are major uh, reggae it singers. But you know, one of the songs that I love it, um, is, uh, it, it relates to me now, not back then, but now I can relate. It sounds like you sing it for me. It's a fatty, fatty. Oh, all the ladies love that one. <laughs> fatty, fatty. Yes. A, lot of, a lot like myself now, you know, I can relate to that name, fatty, fatty. So I love yeah. it. Yes, man. Oh, you mean? And I appreciate that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and lyrics were, were, were um, you know, the, the, the strange thing, the strange thing about that, that song in, in, um, when we just recorded that song in, 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 um, um, seventies, you know, that song was, was banned from the radio because they said it was such back then, you know, and now we are, we are hearing so much, it, it, um, implicit, implicit songs that, you know, it's so it's, it's, you know, they have to be um prompting out some of the words, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Nowadays, today, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, uh -huh. That, that, yeah, that, 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 that is so true. Yeah, that that fatty fatty comes like it, it, it's a joke now to what's happening now. We come to lyrical content, you know. Yes, absolutely. And, and all, 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 all I was saying that I need a fat girl, a fat girl tonight. I'm you in, see. I'm in the mood. I need some food. I'm feeling mm -hmm. rude, you know. Yes, and they you mess know, with and, that and, song. And they said, "Oh, that was that was too strong back then," you know. <laughs> and and right now, when you sing that, no, it light up the place. Of course, because uh, it, 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 it's 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 so um smooth to what's going on now. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because even Billy Lightning, Billy Lightning, say hip tone, hip tones to the top in my he, favorite rhythm. Oh yes, oh yes. Um, uh, um, uh, on the show too, uh, if 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 people are, are are able to come and see this concert, they're gonna see us after singing. You know, a part of my my my, my repertoire. You know, so to speak, I'm gonna stop in there and and these famous bass lines. You know. Mm. Yeah, man, we're going to be tearing down the place, man, with historical facts and music. I'm, I'm telling you, listen, he's he's one of those men that he don't come to give you much. He come to give you a little tease. Yes. And, 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 and then he's going to make you feel pleased definitely. on May 29th. De definitely. I'm you telling know, you. That place is going to because, you know, Rick... Rick um, Ticket sales is going like crazy, you know. The promoter is pleased with what, what's happening, and I'm, 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 I love to work for a full house. When the house is full, the energy is there, and everything is out. I'm looking. I'm so looking forward to, to this show, you know. I Saturday just wanna, I just Sunday. wanna walk in when you're singing "Fatty Fatty." No, you gotta be there before that because I'm gonna be doing songs like this, you know. I'm going to what? Because some... you just you just you just cut in just now, and and Angela Hayes and Clarissa Fay, all of them here want to hear what's. I want you to hype up the, you know, don't send up the pressure, but just send the blood rushing, of so they course. could go get the forty nine dollar ticket, the fifty nine dollar ticket. You have up to seventy nine dollar ticket. Okay, but, you know, so you know, you know that those seventy nine dollar tickets going to be right almost on stage. You know that that's it. And yeah. I think that's where they want to be when you start to yeah. sing a song. Like, yeah. baby, be true. Yeah. Baby, be uh, true. Baby, be true. <laughs> and I'll give the world who I mean it, baby. Ah, uh, baby. Yeah. Going to be doing song like, come with me, my love, to the sea, the sea of love. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be. We're gonna be real intimate on this. This is great show. There's a single that um, is out there right now with me and Sister Marcia Griffin. I know we're gonna be doing that too. Oh man, I'm so. 
looking Excited. forward for this. It's going to be a great, great, it's going to be historical. Listen, I don't want you to do too much talking, you know, because I want you to save your voice for when those ladies, especially those single ones like Y Young and them were coming in, you know, Tanya Bailey Watson, good evening, all the way Jamaican in the house again. Yes, so, yes. Listen, Tanya, I am just trying to save him for when he gets to the show because, okay. you know. Okay. So I hear what this lady say. Yeah, Clarissa Faye say, that yeah. means he want to touch us all. Because you say the seventy-nine dollar ticket means they're gonna be right up there with you. Of course, definitely. And a price like that, you gotta be up close and personal. That that's it. That's ain't no night to be shy. No. You coming out, you are gonna hear. I mean, when you sing the word fatty fatty, you could imagine how much of them gonna run up to the front. Oh my God! I hope, I hope they'll be able to make it. God, that place is gonna be packed. I am telling you. <laughs> it's going to be packed. I, I can see it. I can feel it right now. So, I, I, okay. so I'm going to run. And remember, it's, it's, it's the Sunday, this Sunday, the 29th. And you all come out and party time again. I'll tell them the rest. I'll tell them the rest because I know you have a, a rough night tonight. But thanks for taking the few minutes to come out and tell them what to expect. In Thank the you, place. my sister, for having me. God bless all you. All right, Leroy. You have a good evening. Leroy yes. Sipples, all the way out of Jamaica, like Barney and, 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 and all of these Kingstonian that say they came out of Jamaica. And right now, listen, Clarissa, me, now that he gone, I, I, I can talk. Because the honest truth, you know, mind, they're not going to ban me tonight to go use the word fatty fatty because it's a song. And a lot of y'all women out there are going to love it. And you hear when he sing, baby, be true, and I'll give the world to you. I mean it, baby. You remember songs like that when men sing them songs to us? We just get excited and think, well, we are the one. He really in love with us because the man has sing them kind of song to us. Let me tell you, songs can just make us just turn fool, you know, and make us think that the men them so into us because when we come over and they pop the little champagne and start to sing them song, you know what I mean, right, Billy Lightning? They start to sing those song to us. We start to fall in love. Our emotion kick in and we melt like butter. Clarissa, you know what I mean, right? That's how they get us. Why you think some of us are babies? Is the songs that people like Leroy Sibbles go there and put out. He want a fat girl, fat girl tonight. And you know, thinking you were going to lose weight all of a sudden, you know, but I want to lose weight no more because the song just got to you and get to us. But remember, the big show is on Sunday, May 29th. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8 p.m. Johnny Osborne going to be there, Marcia Griffith and the one and only Leroy Sibbles. The man say he coming on to just give the ladies a tease because he planned to please on May 29th. Listen to me. Where are you, Tanya? Tanya, tell your husband me looking for him. Oh, no, me can't find him. As these men get married, they run and hide from me. Me don't know why. Me don't want you once you get married, you know. So you just know you have the books. You're married now. So me want you on the show. Sing it, Avril. Baby, be true. And I'll give the world to you. I mean it, baby. I hope Bonnie ain't listening because now Bonnie gonna think I'm singing to him. Next thing, my phone start texting half tonight. I mean, I answer. But anyway, let me tell you all something. Buy the ticket where you all could be up close and touch Leroy Sibyl's hand. Because, you know, when you touch these singers, you know, it light them up and it make them sing even much better. That ain't no night to talk about my wife watching and my girl watching and all them things. Janice Martin, you just met Miss Leroy Sibyl's. He was just here teasing the ladies because on May 29, at the Capitol Theater, 149 Westchester Avenue in Port Chester, New York. And even the train goes up there. If you take the, 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 the train, it stops right there. You walk over to the venue. But who want to dress up nice to go see Leroy Sibyls and want to be pantrying? My dear people, you all get a ride with your all friends. You hear what he just said. 
And he lay back when he was doing the interview with me. That was so much teasing. And why young there with her fiercest self, he must sit up because she want to see body. Why young, how much man body you want to see so? The man sit back, relax. He was so tired, but he said, Avril, I'll come on early and do the show. Me say, yes, because after you're done, I want to tell them all the little dramas that they need to hear. So if you're all going out, get your all ticket. They're $49, $59, $69, and $79. 49 mean you in the back because you know not want to tease you. 79 mean you, you're fatty, fatty. You want to go up in the front so you right, could see that is you, that he sing this song about. And for me now, my song is Baby Be True. Can you see if the man no true to me? <laughs> it done right this up. So you have to come good. But anyway, this Leroy Sibyl, somebody asked me where I'm from. He born in Kingston. So that's why Barney and all of them go on and say they come out of Kingston because they feel all the good singer them come out of Kingston. Everybody you ask, where in Jamaica you from? They all from Kingston. And if some of them come out of Kingston 13, them can't go back down there now, do you know? This between me and I, you. Some of them can't go back to Kingston 13 down there now because the kind of bad boy that they was back then. Any the kind of bad boys, them we don't they know, you know. So I like Barney in his sweet suit, Kingston 13 down on Maxfield Avenue. Barney can't go down there now. The only heart them where he don't break up, them are bad girls now. And them are, them are the fat girls, them will sit down pan him and teach him a lesson. You think the girl, them easy down at Jamaica now? But anyway, Hepton's gonna fight, you know, hear the song. Uh, um, anybody know the one? Gonna fight? Okay then. Don't want them if them not true. That's why Clarissa, but we don't even know when them true because them mouth sweet, the man them mouth sweet. Them have diabetes in them out, not in their blood. But anyway, listen to me. I have another something I want to talk about tonight. That one Tony on Facebook tonight. Billy Lightning, you know what I'm talking about, right? So Tony and Facebook tonight. Ladies. Hear the drama. One friend fall out with one friend. So the, the other friend don't talk to the friend because one friend stop talking to one friend. So the question is, so if me and your friend and you and Y Young is friend, so Y Young stop talking to me, you going to stop talking to me? Listen, I have a bunch of drama. That's why I bring drama here. You know, people don't have time for my show because they come with real things. They want to show them with full of drama and confusion. And the real show them, they don't listen to. You all women, you all need a night of healing and cleansing. All this thing about stop talking to, don't talk to. Them was high school days. You all still do them nonsense. You all not big enough. You all don't use gun, right? And that's good. But you know, just go and go pull up a woman and say, listen, we need to talk to you. Let me tell you a story, right? At 93.5, Nico said this. Keisha, big up yourself, my friend Keisha. Nobody could come between me and I now. But listen, Tanya, let me give you a joke. Dub master, Christy Dub master, right? One of my bonify and still bonify me, cuss him out, don't talk to him, bonfire upon him, do everything with him. All of a sudden, Dub Master had his little, you know, fresh little slim girl dating at that time, Keisha. They wasn't married yet. Somebody going to tell her, be careful with me, because me do call Dub Master my Dobby. So all of a sudden, me see the girl come up at the studio. She now talk to me. So I'm wondering what's going on. So I said, Dub Master, your girl kind of act away towards me. And the way me and you is, me and that girl supposed to be born if I. All of a sudden, the girl looked at me with cross eye. You know what I did? I went one night. I said, excuse me, sweetie. Can I speak to you? I'm going to bring Dub Master along. I said, what is the problem? When the girl explained to me and tell her who put foolishness in her head, me say, let me and you talk tonight. Me not even care about who tell you. But let me tell you, you see, if me go wait until you there with the master and come up from Jamaica, and I've been here with my dubby all these years, working with him to go try to want him now that he have you, something wrong with the whole picture. Me and her talk, to the me and that girl is the best friend. 
When she have a problem, she can call me. And she always say, what if I had listened to people? But you know what? She listened, right? But the whole problem about it is that when you pull her up, right? So the whole problem about it is that she was pulled up, she was informed, and everything is smooth. Why you all got to do this kind of nonsense? It don't make sense, problem fits. So, like I was saying, it's a matter of just pulling up the person and say, let's have a real grown up talk. But you all out there talk about me not talk to her because somebody tell me she say somebody said she was looking at me man the wrong way at a barney party and them kind of stupidness i thought the grown people go out to events i didn't know you all go out and behave like that then you all wonder why i can't be in certain atmosphere too much drama you all need to learn to talk things out you all act like a bunch of kids then you all come on facebook with it what, 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 what is that? They need to drink the water and mind them business like it is, Clarissa. You're right. Is this the Wendy show? <laughs> Richard Anthony. <laughs> we needed a laugh. I have never seen so much grown people behave the way they do. Social media become but the Jamaica and them just say arms house. Yeah, I need to grow. I don't have time for it. But the bonfire night is coming up. I think I might do it. Memorial Monday. Can you all need some water? Poor Panala, you. I don't understand. This one not talk today. Then all of a sudden they on Facebook are showed upon each other. They not talk to each other no more. Over nonsense. And none of you look better than, than none. You understand me? Because <laughs> I would say what I want to say, but me not going to say it because me not going, nobody going to tell me about the wig, the middle wear. You are similar braids tonight, right? Braids. And I don't wear girdles. Anything you have, let it hang out. Because Clarissa said, if you have it and you let it hang out and the man see it and is you in want, are you going to take? Some of them put on all kind of thing. Mind you, why young and pal, I mean, I talk about all you. Put on all kind of thing, look cute up and all kind of thing when I get home. You know, the other night, I went out and I go put on a jumper all in one. Who tell me do it? One go bathroom, walk in at the people in bathroom, and have to take off the whole thing. I decide I'm not going to do it. Jesus, who tell me wear that? You got to be careful what you're wearing when you're going out. But anyway, beside the point, I have some shows coming up here that we have to talk about. Tonight is going to be a short show. I'm very tired. And I want you to know, if you're going to do anything, if you're not coming out to the Apple show event on June 3rd, you're going to be missing a night of a great night. Now, that's where the entertainment is going to be. It's $95, but it's for a good cause. I don't get paid for doing it. I don't take nothing from it. it this is about us giving back. It's scholarship. It's an award ceremony honoring cancer survivors. We are just doing a great thing. The DJ ready to turn up the place. Yeah, it's open bar all night, you serve yourself your own meal, you mingle with people you don't see regular, and it's a night of classy. Also, I need Sean. So anyway, so this is what I'm saying. People, and why young? Chill. This is the Avril Show, not Wendy. I don't want to be famous, Richard Anthony, because let me tell you what famous do to some people. Wendy Williams was famous and she had all kind of people watching. I love you, Wendy. I love you, Wendy. Tell me when was the last time you hear people that say, I love you, Wendy. I'm praying for you, Wendy. They don't care about you when you fall. They do not care about you when you fall. I can tell you, you are as good to them as they want you at the moment. And when you fall, you would see how much they love you. 
So I am telling you, don't pray to be famous. Love yourself and enjoy life. Yo, check this out. This is Anthony Cruz representing for Avril Show Foundation. Same. Thank you. Thank you, June Anthony. 3rd at 8 p.m. Don't miss it enough. Don't know. Eastwood Manor in the Bronx. Go and check it out. Anthony Cruz said that. And do remember, she's gonna leave the door open. I'ma leave the door open. Mama, I love you. Care about you. <laughs> There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do. You hear Anthony Cruz said it. It's gonna be a great night. Come out and enjoy it. June 3rd, get your tickets because one thing, why young tell them this is not a walk in and sit down anywhere you want to sit. This is coming, and when you come, your seat is already reserved. So if you don't pay for your ticket, do not come and say, last minute, I want to sit here and I want to sit there. I want you to sit with people who is just like you, who is gonna get along, we're gonna talk, you're gonna mingle, meet people. If you come in with two friends, you don't want one of your friends over on the east and one of you on the west. You wanna know you sit together, you, you laugh together, you party together, you eat together. That's what this event does for people. You coming out one night, a classy evening. So when you hear $95, you think 95 is a lot, check out what's going on now at different events. It's $120, $125, because they say inflation gone up. But guess what I did? I still keep it at 95 because the foundation is not about making money to sit in the bank. It's about making money to do what it's for. Scholarships and the, the cancer survivors and all this. So if you're telling me you can watch my show and you so love Avril, Tell me you will support the cause. So on June 3rd, that's next Friday. And if you don't have your ticket, I told you it's on the flyer. After the 25th, it's $100. Get your tickets, pay for your ticket. And the minute you pay for your ticket, your seat is reserved. This is what this show is all about. We do it. And um, DJ Chico is coming out. It's going to be a good night. June 4th, White Consulting Group in association with Culture Jam Radio presents Flower Gun and Friends. Madame Old Time Dancing, come back here. It's Flower Gun and Friends. Mr. Me love, me love a bad. Love, me love a bad. On Saturday, June 4th, at Empire Manor, formerly Monica's Downhouse, 131-25 Springfield Boulevard in Queens. It also features Michael Lickshot Palmer. Keisha Martin, Junie Wright, Steve Knight, Alfred. The Saturday, June 4th. It's Flower Gun and Friends. Get your tickets today. Get your tickets today, people. Flower Gun and Friends. Flower Gun is the man that came on my show and, and impressed me and teased me and lied to me. Um, what is, what is, uh, I wouldn't even sing the song anymore. The man sing to me like people thought I was getting married after that. Me not see him, me not hear from him after that. I saw the man him do me all the time. Boost up my head and all these kind of things. But let him continue. It's the Reggae Festival proudly presents Legends in Concert on Sunday, May 29th. Inside the Capitol Theater, 149 Westchester Avenue in Port Chester, New York. Legends in Concert, the queen of reggae, Ray. Marcia Griffiths. Like jumping. Then Along jump. with Leroy Hepton Sibbles. The Godfather of Dance Hall, Johnny, Johnny Osborne. All backed by Derek Barnett and the Statement Band. With a special guest artist. That's Sunday, May 29th at the Capitol Theatre, 149 Westchester Avenue in Port Chester, New York. Tickets are available online at thecapitaltheatre.com. There are limited VIP tickets available for an exclusive free show VIP party. For more information, you can call 914-417-1686 or email westchestermusicfestival at gmail.com. Legends in concert. Marcia Griffiths, Leroy Hepton Civil, Johnny Osborne. Sunday, May 29th, inside the Capitol Theater, 149 Westchester Avenue in Port Chester, New York. Friends will move. Is 
Listen, I have a lot to tell you about this, you know, election coming up again in New York, right? And some people, when they hear that, they say, again, yes, it's coming up, but they're playing with us this time. And I have to really inform people what's going on with the election that is coming up. Be careful what they're doing to us, say that they're splitting up and they're splitting us up and... Listen, if you don't know what's going on, it's even a lawsuit. When it comes down to our voting has to go into lawsuit, then you know big things are going on. So people, all who say they don't vote anymore, don't say it. Please do me a favor. Do not fall asleep. And what Donald Trump going around doing, and you all take him for granted that he's not going back in, you all did that before. Many of you sat back and took him for granted because you did not think nobody would vote for a man like Donald Trump. Democrats, they're going to create all kind of stuff about Democrats this and Democrats that. But I'm going to tell you, if you don't vote, you might as well give the seat and the power to those who are, who are pulling us apart. I got to tell you about St. Kitts. That's coming up. I'm just quiet. But I have some stuff to talk about what's going on in St. Kitts and uh, a whole lot more. And Puerto Rico, my heart goes out to you with whatever, what's going on there. And uh, I must admit to you people, coming up on this show, I will be bringing you those who can break it down to you what is going on. Brooklyn, Bronx, wherever you are. Stay tuned for all the information you need. Do not change your mind about voting. If you don't vote, you are sitting back and allow somebody else to go in there who's going to destroy us some more. And I know you're going to all say politicians are crooks. If they're crooks, call them out, take them out. But everybody can be crook. But let's um, welcome our new, you see, we have the new um, lieutenant governor. You see how easy we can be replacing life? So open our eyes, please. If not, for you. okay, thank you. And that's right, Clarissa. Sometimes the things that we may not reap the benefit of, our children or grandchildren is the one who's going to come and have to go through it. So I have to bring you the information, and I will put the announcement out there. We have to talk about it. I said when. You see, politicians are angry because they have to take these things to court. I want you, the experts, to be here to talk with me about it. It is serious. And we are losing more and more every day. You know what was the sweetest thing? You remember them little stimulus check we was getting? <laughs> I wonder if I could tell anybody the truth. Every minute I was checking to see if mine's gone in the bank yet. And you see, when we get the last one, I was still praying that we had something to sign to get another $1,700. You see, how they make up them stimulus check there. And we were getting money. People were getting food stamp. We were getting everything during a pandemic. So that not tell you that there is something in there that we are not getting that they have that they can still give to us. No, we got to make this country great again. We got to do the right thing, people. Do not be fooled. I want to know. I never see no money in a bank yet. It's our money we put in the bank, you know. Banks don't make money. Banks use our money. So we have to have common sense, you know, in the world that we are living in. We like to say we go to the bank, go get money. Who tell you bank have money and still don't have yet to give to us? Our money circulates. If every one of we walk away from the one bank, I ain't calling no bank name. Take your money out of the bank and walk away. Tell me that bank no close down tomorrow. Banks, they know how to do it. And all these airline tickets, whatever make us feel like we're buying a house when we have to buy an airline ticket, a pure robbery. Because they know that the government bail out the airline industry. Them help them out. So why we still are punished? 
gas price went up. You notice two years of a pandemic, we don't had no hurricane and no storm. You all pay attention. When we hear them talk about man-made stuff, we don't believe them, you know. Because every time we have a pandemic, no hurricane, no storm. The minute that the pandemic is over, they start telling you prepare for hurricane and storm. How they know so much so? It seems like they just organize these things. Climate change. Anybody remember? I mean, the climate is really changing. Because I remember I used to be right here in the Bronx. I never had air condition. I used to have a little fan on my on my table in my bedroom and I sleep with that and I was good. Now, if you don't have an AC in a New York, it's really some climate change going on here. Because if you don't have an AC and you have menopause, Jesus have mercy. Somebody has to take the wheel and it has to be God. So you all got to pay attention to the changes that are going on. And to those politicians or elected officials, politicians is one thing. Elected officials are different. We elect them. They're elected officials. Okay? Yes, we have to sound the alarm. Um, Clarissa, a lot of these people, especially saying kids, I, I, I have a show coming up for, for you guys, you know. I just not say nothing right now. I just allowing you all to just act up, make noise, scream and yell. Because see, I'm not here to talk about red shirt, blue shirt, yellow shirt. I'm here to talk about country. Because when you all start voting, like you are voting for changing your country versus than who you like, who belly no big, who head no big and all this nonsense, our country will, will move ahead. You are voting for the wrong foolishness Oh, years upon years and up years and you are not changing it. You are going to change what you are voting for. So listen to me, Clarissa. I plan to sound the alarm. And who don't like it? Then Richard Anthony, you're right, it will turn into the Wendy show, but it's going to be the Apple show. It's time for us to done with the foolishness then that we're carrying on with. Social media is making some of you, some of you turn fool. How you doing, Roger, my big friend? A long time you're my friend, you know, but you're too sexy, so I figure, you know what, no. Fluffy girl like me, you just want the slim, trim girls, then we pan the golf, the golf course and thing like that, you know? But one day as you get older, you might you might want me. So I still save myself, right? So Clarissa, they're sitting down, they're making pure noise. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for the check. Thank you. Thank you. And can't wait to see you on June 3rd. Those are my you see, Roger, the supporters I have. Those are who make me do what I do. You see them will say, you and I me love you, my love you, my love you. Tell them, buy a ticket, $95, and come support me June 3rd. Somebody will say, me can't eat $95 worth of food. What you get in, you're not even going to miss the $95 when you come out that night. Right? But you know what, no old woman? You see that niece of mine when you boss Lady Canes? Instead, she come on and say, Raja, yes, my aunt is the best. She say, Raja, no want no old woman. Raja, you hear that? Raja, that's my niece talking like that. Want me know how to deal with her. You understand? So let me tell you, June 3rd, come 8 o'clock, because you want to enjoy your hors d'oeuvres. It's open bar. DJ, I got to turn up the place. Beautiful people going to be in the place. I'm going to look five years younger because I'm going to fix up my hair, tuck in my belly and all them kind of thing. You know what I mean? So when I walk in and I hold in my breath, I don't want nobody to talk to me because I don't wear a girdle. But what I do, I hold in my stomach so my stomach got a little flat. So if you come talk to me, I have to let it out. I don't mean, want that. And they say, Barney is coming. Could you imagine my husband Barney I come all the way to the Bronx for me? I'm going to act like a mall that and a bag of chips and I'm going to have Roger there. I'm going to make sure I spin around a lot, spin around a lot, act cute and carry on with a whole lot of things. And big things are going on at Eastwood Manor here in the Bronx, June 3rd, the Avril Show Cancer Foundation event. Well, let me thank the miserable Angela Gray, 
Alga, Caesar, Alexandrina, problem fips, they help, boy. I don't know what I'll do without them. And the one attorney that keeps me in check, attorney Hugh Campbell, I don't know what I'll do without the man. He's everybody attorney. Whether you're divorced, losing your house, losing your wife, your wife throw you out, you know, you, 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 every problem you have, just call attorney Hugh Campbell. And if he can't do it, trust me. But you are like to run and go get them attorney. We come on TV and make up noise because they, they, they have a big case. You remember the, the, the I mean, I call no name, you know, but the minute you all see an attorney and it's a big case, you know, big national case where police kill black man and he make himself so big all over you all think everybody know as soon as police touch them they gonna call that man and guess what the case them where he where he taking you know is no case where he have to go look for evidence and this to prove the case you know you all don't understand i'm gonna have to teach all your knights of your rights it's not a case where you have to go look for proof and and evidence to file find your case and make sure the person pay you know the cases are open shut we don't rally we don't fight we don't protest and we don't know the cops then go in jail and they want to praise these attorney but the attorney we have to go fight for you and make sure that your wife not take away your house from you. Or your husband will bust up your eyes, serve some time. Or the man where, you know, like me, my heart get broken so many times. Me don't know, come me not call a lawsuit, you know. I want to know if there's a lawsuit for men who break woman's heart. I want somebody to tell me, men, you might say, what about the women that break men's heart? But it works both ways. If you work for we go work for you. So I want to know if they have such a case because there's no way you could tell me man man come find good girl like me break up my heart and leave me alone i may just sell so me not sue nobody the man gone with me heart you know what me have to do to make that bend make up the heart and build back up that heart take me years and i'm still single all now i ain't an attorney you can bell never tell me he gonna fight. Roger, what you mean who break your heart? Roger, I'll know me single heart broke up much years now. And I trying to kind of find out what kind of lawsuit could come out of that. Name names. <laughs> Roger, we can't call no name, Roger. <laughs> Let me know so I can fly, file my claim. Paula, that's what we're talking about. We're supposed to be able to sue. Sometimes old woman make young man wise. Clarissa, she don't understand that man. She don't understand that that little old niece may have there when I have no sense. But Roger, I want an old girl. <laughs> Roger, me say, your heart ever broke, Roger, where all when you're asleep, you're talking, you sleep, you have nightmare, you, you wake up every two hours. You understand? Paula, I sure you've been there, Paula. Me know you've been there where your heart get broken. And all when you want to sleep, sleep I catch you, but you still can't close your eye. All when you sleep, your eye them open. Roger, you've been there too? Jesus, man. I tell you, some of the shows that me want to do here, we're gonna have to come here with a bottle of wine or something because me have to drink and you know drink me wine and pop me talk them. Water can't make me talk. I have to drink some wine. Me say, what a piece of heartbreak. But anyway, Roger, me need to talk to you about a ax steel situation I have. So you need to come join me on this show. We have a, a show to talk about. But anyway, remember next Friday, June 3rd. Is the Avel Show Foundation event at Eastwood Manor. Ladies, nobody come out in a high heel shoes like Paula and then come with your extra bag and take up space because the flat shoes in the in, in the bag because you can't stand up all night and walk up and in them platform shoes where we are by. Wear some flat, comfortable shoes with your long dress. Nobody look on your shoes and come in the place and have a great time. Pastors going to be there. Ministers going to be there. Popes going to be there. 
police going to be there, the DA going to be there, the Bronx Bowl president going to be there. Yes, they're coming out to support the good cause. And the three young men who is going to be getting the scholarships, three brilliant young men, three brilliant young men going off to college. If you have your children in college, remember, send me their information. If you know someone with cancer, send me their information. If you know someone doing great, I'm doing something with News 12 The Bronx. So if you know someone who is doing good, great things, please inbox me their information so that they could be part of what's happening in June. Not for the Abelshire Foundation, but on behalf of News 12, I'll be doing something for the people in the community. So if you're out there, Roger, you're one of those people that I selected to honor on News 12 The Bronx, because you, you're doing business. You're a young man, come out of Jamaica, doing your own thing. People need to know about people who are doing great things. So if you know somebody who has a business and doing great, just let me know. Angela Weeks, <laughs> love you, girl. You know the family head no good. So I'm just letting it out tonight. When I sweat, it will release the toxin from my body. And the toxin is just the craziness that's in there. So forgive me when I talk. So for those people who are from the island of St. Kitts, get ready. Because my show is not about yelling and screaming. My show is to talk real talk and facts. So when me hear you carrying on with the eye strippiness, remember the song by King Canris, don't wake a sleeping tiger. I'm awake now. I'm ready for every one of you. So me know I hear about Douglas and Timothy and all that. We're going to talk about our country because some of them that I hear that is running and they're telling you why they're running, I want to make some correction. You can't tell me some of the things that you're telling me. Because, see, people clap for the wrong things, you know. You all hear them say, when I go in, I'm going to bring jobs. Which politician not tell you that? I don't want to hear what you're going to do. I want to see what you're going to do and what you've been doing. So I have some things that we're going to be talking about, and it's called Real Talk to the people in the islands. Put up your voting finger. Show me your voting finger, and I'm going to show you who to vote for. I don't love elected officials. I love those who are making things happen. So not because you're an elected official, me and me have to like you. Because some of you that got in last time, me can't wait for election day to make sure me help take out all you. Ah, you can't go back in there. Because all you, some of you do is just stand up behind camera. There's a fire, me see all you. There's something going on, me see you guys. I see the politicians that are making and fighting and go to Albany and fight and then afraid to show you what they're going to fight for. It's not just when a fire comes, Miss you. You understand what I'm saying? So support the people that I support because trust me, I know them well. I know my elected official from Mount Vernon, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, wherever you are. I know the elected official. So if Miss Seminar vote for them, no vote for them either. It's nice. This is my slogan. Train your mind to see the good in everything. Roger, me see the good in the man them, and them still break me heart, Roger. I didn't see the bad coming. I only see the good. But if I had looked at the red flags, maybe they would not have get the chance. Me say them break up my heart till all. Oh, no, Roger. Roger may have something in my house right now, a sleep pan, a pillow. And sometimes me wake up the pillow blue. Another time I wake up the pillow red. Another time I wake up the, the pillow change color all the time. It all depends on my mood. And guess which one, Roger, is for the red? If you never have this pillow before, ask me about it. It changed colors based on your mood. So if you if love coming in your life, the pillow turn red. And if love leaving you, it turn yellow. Order the pillow from me. So when your man go to sleep at night and you see the pillow turn yellow, he planning to leave you. Call and place your order. Call Roger. He will deliver. 
It's called the love pillow. It turns red, yellow, or black. But when you see it turn black, ha, it's over. He know how to tell you. Just get up in the morning, watch the pillow. And if it turn black, the man getting ready to tell you it's over. That pillow was just released, getting ready to go on sale. Call me, place your order for the love pillow. But anyway, check me out on June 3rd at Eastwood Manor in the Bronx. Yes, Roger, we'll talk. If the pillow turn yellow, throw him off the bed. That's it, prepare yourself. Get rid of him. And when you get rid of him, tell him, call me. <laughs> Some of you are dash me, good man. That's a good woman. I don't know how much other woman I watch the man and can't wait for you to dash them out. <laughs> the minute me here, I dash them out. You hear? Me I come and I tell him, come to my counseling school. Him now come back. <laughs> Does it get wet? Richard Anthony, on behalf of the Avril Show, Go and read Psalms 23rd tonight before you go to bed because you're really and truly, you're asking some deep question. Didn't I tell you I'm single? I don't talk those things. I'm a woman of God. You do not know when most of the women them single, they run a church. Ask Paula. Paula used to go on Paula's step. I tell Paula she went to the wrong church because in her church, it was all old folks. And she gone in there, go think God going to send a young man in there. So it can happen. But when Paula see taking too long, she no went back to the church. I tell you, they go to church. You remember Joe the Baba, Roger, my co-host up at 93. You ain't see him right now because we're not back up there yet. You see Joe? Joe met a girl. And when the girl tell Joe she go to seven the church in Brooklyn, Roger Joe have a barber shop we open on Saturdays and Joe went church Saturday all the way to Brooklyn. Drive over Bridge Petola went Brooklyn. For that girl. And you see after him went church one time and really find out who the girl is, Joe never went back to church on a Saturday. And if you tell him anything, him can't stand seven day church. So seven day woman, them the dangerous, all them kind of thing. But please nobody tell Joe that me talking business. Yeah, Joe went church. Ah, because the girl looked fine. But Joe no realize the girl was wearing the little tight thing with hole in she belly. The, it was a weave, it wasn't her hair. And her nails look pretty and everything. You see when Joe see her in church and she just surprised her in the church. Joe should have never surprised the woman. A more fiesty. Because if the girl know Joe was coming, Joe would have, she would have put on she little girdle again. She took the girl went church without the girdle and without the wig. And when Joe realized it was the same girl, Joe went back to church. So was Joe going to church for God? Joe was going to church had a girl look fine. People, if you're going to go to church, go to have a relationship with God, not a relationship with some fake star. So anyway, I'm going to end it. Can you see me and my single life? I plan to rest more so I could stay looking fresh. So when Roger see me on June 3rd or Barney see me or somebody see me, they could say the girl look good. You're not going to make me lose sleep and lose out on my next fling. That now happen. But here on the Apple show, Nikki, Nikki, how you just a sign on, Nikki, when me go sign off? Nikki, we give me the thing to, Nikki, you know, tell people about that thing you sell, that you put on your lotion on your skin. The thing feel good. Mr. Roger, it feels good. Good what Nikki has sell, Roger. You know, what oh, you call it, Nikki? Um, it's 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 like a moist, it, you know, when you lotion your skin, natural stuff. 
Man, the thing feel good. Me not even want to use it no more because I'm trying to save it for when I meet somebody. I could say, baby, can you rub my feet, please? And you know, make his hands feel good. And it massage my foot. People, somebody don't use the wrong thing for your foot. Yes, share, share love. That comes. The shea butter, shea butter, that's the name I was trying. I think the thing is natural. Paula, instead of going out with your heels, the man, you know, somehow you go to an eye of an eye, heels and the back of you, heel dry and so, you need the shea butter, that thing is good. Nikki, if you come into my thing, bring a little couple small ones so that I could um, give it out. Sophia Reed, how are you doing, sweetie? Knowing you for years. Yes, Sophia, good evening to you. Sophia, always a support me and one thing with her. So all I out there who are walk give Tony hell, I don't stop. So Roger, I can't wait to see you on June 3rd. And as I say, thank you for your support and problem and everybody who's supporting this event. We're going to dance this year. Nobody come in a high hood shoes. Come flat, come dance, open bar, and I'm making sure this year some men come in, more men. I mean, can't wait to see the one man of my life, Barney, when he come in. My little woman last year, Barney come, it wasn't a big event last year, it was a small one. And he came, and me see all them girls all over Barney, and I was up there while I roll my eye and carry on, but I just I just played off. But well, you see this year, me make sure me here done right. Make sure me buy a girl lucky pee in my belly if in case me can't hold it in for too long because you know, but the best thing about life, ladies, let it hang out. Let people see who you are. Stop hiding the little fat you have. Because when you take off the girdle and the man see the fat, you realize you wasn't real. Be yourself, love yourself. But I'll put on a girl, I, I, I mess up your back line and, and all them kind of thing. Let your little fat hang out, no man. Life is precious. Make a put on them thing then, then when the food come, me can enjoy my food. No, me I eat my food, me pay for it. You understand? Me want be like my niece, boss lady canes. You understand? We eat, eat down the house. I saw them, I'm coming out and I'm telling you guys, come dance. You could imagine you have on them tight girdle way, have you all the way up and when you sit on the breast up in the ear and you know, time to eat, you could only eat a little. And then when it's time to dance, you can't move and broke out and, and go down and thing because the thing too tight. People leave them thing the home on June 3rd. Come out, come enjoy yourself at the Avril Show Foundation. It's going to be a great night. We're giving away big television. We're giving away all kind of stuff. And I'm giving away some nice mm, drinks. And like I say, the pillow that I'm selling, it's called the Love Pillow. It has three colors. It change. So like if the man love you, the, the, the pillow just red. And then if you see him mad with you, you see, you notice the pillow start to change yellow because it, it mean him mad. You know, I talk to you, you know, I see you and all them things, there, right? And then if the man I leave you, like how Barney left me when I was down in Kingston 13, down in Maxfield, the pillow, you wake up, the pillow going to be black. So if you want one of those pillows, don't forget to order it from me. So I am cutting out this foolishness of not knowing when the man no want us no more and they him better pretend. You don't kill me. As soon as the pillow turn black, me no. Me even call 911 to put you out because me not taking no chance to defend myself. You love riot. I don't want that in my house. So my pillow always white right now because I'm me alone asleep on it. So me say, God, I pay me tides. I come to church. I live good. I love people. Then why me still single? Where the man them there? Nah, man. So anyway, we have a big show coming up in the Bronx. Sophia might need your assistant because all the women them were single. Please send me an inbox message. This thing you done, man. A pure nonsense I go on. All kind. You ever go to a party, you see the man them over the corner. See them here. All night, them over there are kind of drink. And the woman them on the other side. By themselves, when me go to them kind of party, they far. You're in a relationship with God, yes, but Nikki, man, that's a whole different relationship, Nikki. Then I say, God, no, create us to be by ourselves. 
So are we going to be, how much is the pillow? We'll tell you about it, Drina. Can we give discount based on you? I have to talk to you and find out more about your life. And based on your life, if you were single for a long time, we have to take off a little discount because you know what? Nobody leave you again. You know, but if you are somebody we don't break up a lot of man heart, we just charge you the full price, make you pay tax and everything. Because I'm not okay if your pillow turn black, you deserve karma. So the pillow have karma in it too, you know. I would love to see you before the event. Yes, of course, Roger. You see, Roger, when you say that, people gonna think now we have a date. Roger, now come boost up my head that you want to see me, and then when we come see you now, all you come talk about a, a, a business, you know. Sangsta Gary Smith. $1,800 pillow, yeah, 50% off. Barney, you're right. Barney, you're pillow free. Come, we will want you come let down by my pillow. Hey, hey, when you get up, it could turn black. And it could turn black. Because uh, when you get up, you're gone. Now send you back home, you know. Is either either my cause, but so funeral home or something. But you know, go tell me you come into my house and you go back home. Once you come in, you in. If you plan to leave, leave with the pillow and you're going to turn black. So anyway, Lorraine Sanders, how you doing, Lorraine? Oh, the one of my pillows, Lorraine. Me say me create a pillow there. Because the man them terrible. And for our woman, we're terrible. So my are you right to be terrible? Because when you pick up some of these men, they're terrible, you know? And we see the red flag them and we still go in there. And once me see the red flag with anybody, me not about to go in no more. Me too old. The amount of time me heart get break up. You know, some of we are cat. You know, in all honesty, they don't diagnose us right when we born or no. They say cat have nine lives. A one heart we have. And it's something about the heart that we could get up and love again and love again after I get break up, sir. No, man, me need a doctor on this show to tell me about how the heart work because me say the last heartbreak me get, Roger. Me turn mad because no, nobody even know. And Roger, me all pan the radio the night. I do show like nothing. Me say something wrong with me, man. Cause me supposed to be home a ball and pull up me hair and break up things and throw down things and so. And me no do it. Me no normal tall. So this pillow is going to save lives. So Barney, me hear you coming to me then. Me can't wait to see you, Barney. But you see when me see you and you walk through the door, Barney. Hey, <laughs> you can't well better do this show because me not come on a show, come sit down there, stand up on a horse and all them things on Barney in the building. I want to sit down with Barney and act like Lorraine. Lorraine come to me event one time. Me not chat nobody business, but. Lorraine come to me event one night. Lorraine Sanders, she from St. Kitts, but I'm not, I don't want to call her name. Did I say her name, Lorraine Sanders? Oh, Vilkens, how you doing, sweetheart, my nephew? Me say, dream about Kenan. Let me give you the joke about Lorraine Sanders, but me no one body go tell me me a call up people name. Me say, Lorraine, come at the event. In a some spiky, they should them nice on her. And by the time she come in, you know, music broke out now and they want to get on by there on the floor. When she left, me see the expensive shoes, they must sit on under the table when me a clean up. But I just took up the shoes and went home with them. And she all over east with man, I look for shoes and I go on. Me just take a picture of the shoes and put it on Facebook. That's how she know me had the shoes. You know why me put it on Facebook? The shoes was too small. You see, if they could have fit me, me have put them on and go to church this Sunday, you hear me? And put my foot up so she could see she shoes for me foot. Let me see if she was bad enough to tell me, take off she shoes. I saw you need to do them. When they come out in the high heels shoes and they put them down, take up the shoes and go with them. It's a sale. You're not thief it. There's no camera. There's no proof. You see what me go promote now when you look people start to teeth blossom go go teeth off people's shoes and they say me say so no people leave people's shoes alone but please come to my event and don't look better than me you know because some freshmen are come to the event for the first time and if you think i gonna come in they can look better than me and barney over there walk a take picture with you and a smile up with you and forget he came for me a pure madness i have one within the can be shut down that place there 
and everybody leave out after you pay all your money. So anyway, on behalf of the Apple Show, you see, when you're single like me, you're not supposed to be up too late. Sleep and keep the bags from under your eye and make your face look good and so on. Because we still have hope, you know. We still have hope. Even though the man them break up our half, there's still hope. Because somebody going to tell me the other day that I must go down by the divorce court. So I say, for what? They say, so when the man them divorce and they walk out, you just say, hey, how are you? And meet a new friend. And life goes on again. So Lauren, Joina, Tanya, have a good night, my dear, everybody. Because me say, Tanya, you in Florida. Tanya, you could travel there, eh? but no, you're good. You're good up like that. You could fly with that, Jamaica, wherever. You're not like summer, we were not take vacation in uh, the day and the job, uh, four years. Hear them. May have five weeks vacation, you know. Nobody want to hear that. Take your vacation. You can't take it to the grave. And when you look them sick and the job, tell them take off and they have to go use up. I don't know why I'm to these people. Them love them job more than love their life. One load of vacation time. And they're tired. And they're not just tired. They look tired. But every day, they want, I don't build up the vacation. Build it up for a while. You drop down dead. And nobody get it. Nobody enjoy it. People live life. Enjoy life. You buy the sheet, sleep on it. You buy the couch, um, sit down in it. You buy the kitchen table, eat in it. You understand what I'm saying? You buy the plate, not put them up. Those are back in the days when you're back home. And your parents come, somebody send them a couple of plates from America, they put them up in a some cabinet of grow dust and have you wash them and put them back up. And as soon as some guests come visit, hear them, take out the plates, take out the plates, but we can't eat all tight. That's another story right there. The amount of abuse they give us, you hear when we were growing up, how we think it was cute. Can't drink out of a good glass, them. All kind of cup with spall up, spall up, spall up. We call it spall up, all kind of chip off. And that we drink out of. And as soon as somebody come visit our grandparents, hear them, take out the glass, take out the plates. And all them nonsense there. Papa to deal with that. You buy your plate, eat out of it. You buy your wig, wear it the next day. You understand? Wear up your things, them, that when you're dead, not a soul of fight over nothing. Because they know you don't wear them already. God bless you. Thank you for staying up with the Avril Show. Nikki, Barney, Lauren. Lauren, sorry to talk your business. It was just an example. Nobody go sue me because you, you don't have nothing much to get. Clarissa, thank you for your little feedback. Sophia, thank you for watching. Everybody problem. And me all vicious niece there, boss lady. Angela Weeks, thank you, sweetheart. I tell you, some family member, you hear the woman call me old and she's my niece. Tell you something, your family, them is the, the reason you're single, you know? Because someday you find a nice man and you hear your family back me, mad girl, and hear the man now. But if she needs a call, I'm mad. Janice Martin, next thing the man gone. Because you niece a call, you mad. So the man say, she got to be mad, man, because he one niece call her mad. So the man won't gone. <laughs> Things no good around here again. It's the average. Sure, love you, no? See you later.